नमस्ते टू एवरी वन आई वेलकम यू ऑल इन माय यूट्यूब वीडियो चैनल टूडे आई विल डेली वार लेक्चर ऑन रिंग थ्योरी लेक्चर नंबर वन इन व्हिच आई विल डिस्क्राइब ए जर्नी फ्रॉम ग्रुप टू फील्ड द वर्ड ग्रुप indicates a collection of people or collection of things or collection of items with certain characteristics we generally speak that a group of people came from central asian highlands to india and characteristic of those peoples be they are white skinned and they are called aryan and in mathematics we speak about group a collection of member which has certain characteristics collection with characteristics indicates a set that means group is a non empty set with certain characteristics the characteristics is known by applying some operations let we consider a non empty set with a binary operation non empty set if g with binary operation star such that this algebraic structure satisfies some properties number 1 closure property that means if a a b belong to g implies that a operation b belongs to g for all a b belong to g number 2 associative property a operation under bracket b operation c equal to a operation b this is under bracket operation c for all a b c belong to g non empty set g number 3 if there exist an element e belongs to g such that a operation e equal to e operation a equal to a for all a belongs to g number 4 let a be any element of g then if there exist b belong to g such that a operation b equal to b operation a equal to e this e is called identity element e is called identity element of g and b is called inverse of a and this property is called existence of inverse 
therefore the non empty set g with binary operation if fulfills these four properties then g with binary operation that is this algebraic structure is called a group now i will give you some examples of group example 1 let z be the set of integers and addition plus is a binary operation on z then z with binary operation addition is a group because number 1 if a b b any two integers then sum of two integers is also an integer this is closure property number 2 we know that a plus b plus c this under bracket equal to under bracket a plus b plus c for all a b c belong to z number 3 since zero is an integer and let a b any integer then a plus 0 equal to 0 plus a equal to a number 4 let a be any integer then minus a is also an integer and a plus minus a equal to minus a plus a equal to 0 therefore four properties for group are satisfied therefore z with binary operation addition is a group example 2 when we divide any integer by 3 we get remainders either 0 or 1 or 2 we may collect those integers such that when they are divided by 3 gives remainder 0 we say that collection as a set that set is 0 bar 0 bar contains 0 comma 3 comma 6 comma 9 and so on if we divide any of the integers by 3 we get remainder 0 similarly we collect all those integers such that they are divided by 3 gives remainder 1 collection of those integers is denoted by 1 bar and 2 bar 2 bar be the collection of all those integers when we divide that integer by 3 gives remainder 2 and we make a set this set is known as z3 this set is called the set containing integers modulo 3 if we take z3 with binary operation addition then this algebraic structure is also a group we may form the composition table 
here we write zero bar here one bar here two bar here zero bar one bar two bar here we get zero bar plus zero bar zero bar zero bar plus one bar one bar zero bar plus two bar two bar one bar plus zero bar one bar one bar plus one bar two bar one bar plus two bar three bar means zero bar two bar plus zero bar two bar two bar plus one bar three bar that means zero bar two bar plus two bar four bar when we divide four by three we get remainder one so this is one bar here we see that each member is a member of Z3. This means closure property holds. Also, we may examine that this algebraic structure fulfills the associative property. Here, 0 bar be the identity element for operation addition because if we Take 0 bar plus 0 bar, 0 bar, 0 bar plus 1 bar, 1 bar, 0 bar plus 2 bar, 2 bar. And we may also examine the inverse. Here we see that 0 bar, 0 bar plus 0 bar, 0 bar is the inverse of 0 bar. Here we see 0 bar. Here 1 bar plus 2 bar is 0 bar, identity element. That means 1 bar is the inverse of 2 bar. And 2 bar is inverse of 1 bar. Here we see 0 bar. 2 bar plus 1 bar equal to 0 bar. 2 bar is the inverse of 1 bar. And 1 bar is the inverse of 2 bar. So we get that all the 4 properties for group are fulfilled. Therefore Z3 plus is a group. Now we see example 3. Let M2R be the collection of all 2 by 2 matrices whose entries are real numbers. Then we may examine that all the 4 properties are fulfilled with binary operation addition. Therefore, M2R with binary operation addition is a group. Now we include another property with the group G. That property is commutative property. Commutative property. That means A operation B equal to B operation A for all A B belong to G. Then this will be the fifth property. If a group fulfills these four properties along with this fifth property, then the group is called an abelian group. Here we see that we take a non empty set G with a single binary operation. Now we want to consider another non-empty set with two binary operation. Let those binary operation are addition and multiplication. Now we examine that whether Z with binary operation multiplication is a group or not. We know that 5 is an integer, but multiplicative inverse of 5 is 1 by 5 because 5 multiply 1 by 5 equal to 1 by 5 multiply 5 equal to 1. 1 be the multiplicative identity. But 1 by 5 does not belong to Z. Therefore, Z with binary operation multiplication is not a group. 
and also m2 r with binary operation multiplication is not a group because we know that m2 r contains all 2 by 2 matrices whose entries are real numbers we may get some singular matrices they are members of m2 r but we may not get their inverse therefore m2 r with binary operation multiplication is not a group so we consider a new structure r with binary operation addition and multiplication such that r with binary operation addition is abelian group this is number one number two r with binary operation multiplication is a semi group semi group means only closure property and associative property holds with respect to binary operation multiplication number 3 left and right distributive law holds that is a multiply b plus c equal to a multiply b plus a multiply c and b plus c multiply a equal to b multiply a plus c multiply a for all a b c belong to r then the new algebraic structure r plus dot r plus dot means multiplication is a ring now we give an example of a ring example z be the set of integers plus means addition and dot means multiplication are binary operations on z then z with binary operation addition and multiplication is a ring. Since we know that Z plus addition is an abelian group. Number two, Z with multiplication as binary operation is a semi group. Semi group means only closure and associative property holds. We know that multiplication of two integers B an integer that means closure law holds and also associative law holds for multiplication in the set of integers. Number three since a multiply b plus c equal to a multiply b plus a multiply c and b plus c multiply a equal to b multiply a plus c multiply a for all a b c belong to z therefore z with binary operation addition and multiplication is a ring. Similarly, we may show that set of rational number with binary operation addition and multiplication is a ring. Set of real numbers with binary operation addition and multiplication is a ring. Example 2 Z theory with binary operation addition and multiplication is a ring. Because we know that Z theory with binary operation addition is a group. 
एंड जेड थ्री विथ बाइनरी ऑपरेशन मल्टीप्लीकेशन इज ए सेमी ग्रुप बिकॉज क्लोजर प्रोपर्टी एंड ऑल्सो एसोसिएटिव प्रोपर्टी एंड डिस्ट्रीब्यूटिव प्रोपर्टी होल्ड होल्ड एग्जाम्पल थ्री एम टू आर विथ बाइनरी ऑपरेशन एडिशन एंड मल्टीप्लीकेशन इज ए रिंग सिमिलर टू एब ऑफ केस वी मे एग्जामिन दैट दिस इज ए रिंग लेट आर प्लस एंड डॉट बी ए रिंग वी इंक्लूड सम प्रोपर्टीज विथ दिस रिंग इफ वी इंक्लूड कमोटेटिव प्रोपर्टी विथ दिस रिंग दैट मीन्स कमोटेटिव प्रोपर्टी मीन्स कमोटेटिव property for multiplication a multiply a b equal to b multiply a then the name of the ring will be changed as commutative ring if a unity element exist in the ring unity in the sense that it is multiplicative identity then the ring will be ring with unity set of rational number q with binary operation addition and multiplication is a commutative ring with unity to z plus dot dot means multiplication ए कमोटेटिव रिंग विदाउट यूनिटी एम टू आर विथ बाइनरी ऑपरेशन एडिशन एंड मल्टीप्लीकेशन इज ए नॉन कमोटेटिव रिंग विथ यूनिटी बिकॉज यूनिटी इज टू बाई टू मैट्रिक्स डायगोनल एलिमेंट वन एंड नॉन डायगोनल जीरो एंड वी नो दैट मैट्रिक्स मल्टीप्लीकेशन इज नॉट कम्यूटेटिव इन जनरल नाउ लेट आर इज ए सेट कंटेनिंग ऑनली जीरो एलिमेंट देन आर विथ बाइनरी ऑपरेशन एडिशन एंड मल्टीप्लीकेशन Is a ring. This structure fulfills all the properties of a ring. This ring is called trivial ring. Now we consider another structure. Let a With a is a non-empty set with binary operation addition is an abelian group and for multiplication a multiplied by b equal to zero for all a b. belong to a then associative law for multiplication will also hold because if we take a multiply b multiply by c a multiply by b equal to 0 multiply c equal to 0 a multiply b multiply by c b multiply by c is 0 this is 0 therefore A multiply by b multiply by c equal to a multiply under bracket b multiply by c. Therefore, associative law holds. Also, distributive law holds. Therefore, a with binary operation addition and multiplication is a ring. 
दिस रिंग इज कॉल्ड जीरो रिंग now we discuss about some properties and we will include those properties with the ring and we get different structures one property is divisor of zero let r plus dot is a ring and a belongs to r such that a not equal to 0 and there exist b belongs to r such that b not equal to 0 and a multiply b equal to 0 then a is called left divisor of zero similarly if c not equal to zero and c multiply by a equal to zero then a is called right divisor of zero in a commutative ring every left divisor of zero is a right divisor of zero now we see some examples since z with binary operation addition and multiplication is a ring it does not contain any divisor of zero because we know that multiplication of any two non zero integers is not zero next example z6 with binary operation addition and multiplication is a ring and it contains divisor of zero because two bar three bar belong to z6 since two bar not equal to zero bar three bar not equal to zero bar but two bar multiply three bar equal to six bar when we divide 6 by 6 we get remainder 0 that means this is 0 bar also 4 bar belongs to z6 and 3 bar multiply 4 bar equal to 12 bar when we divide 12 by 6 we get remainder 0 that means this is zero bar therefore two bar not equal to zero three bar not equal to zero four bar not equal to zero zero bar but product of two bar and three bar is zero bar product of three bar and four bar equal to zero bar from this we may take some ideas as in group we know that cancellation law holds but in ring cancellation law does not hold in general because here we see that three bar multiply two bar equal to zero bar also three bar multiply four bar equal to zero bar implies that थ्री बार मल्टीप्लाई टू बार इक्वल टू थ्री बार मल्टीप्लाई फोर बार बट टू बार नॉट इक्वल टू फोर बार इफ वी कैंसल थ्री बार बोथ साइड्स देन टू बार इक्वल टू फोर बार बट 
it is not possible so cancellation law does not hold in this case so we make a general principle that cancellation law holds only in those ring which do not contain divisor of zero z5 with binary operation addition and multiplication is a ring and it does not contain divisor of zero m2 r with binary operation addition and multiplication is a ring contains divisor of zero because 1 0 0 0 this is not equal to 0 0 0 0 matrix also 0 0 1 0 this is not equal to 0 0 matrix but 1 multiply 0 is a zero matrix so m2 r which binary operation addition and multiplication contains divisor of zero now we want to know a new concept unit in a non trivial ring r with binary operation addition and multiplication with unity an element a is called a unit if a, there exist another element b belongs to r such that a multiplied by b equal to b multiply a equal to unity this is unity we do not confuse with unit and unity this b is called multiplicative inverse and a has a multiplicative inverse if any element has multiplicative inverse then that element is called a unit not unity unity means multiplicative identity element but unit means the element which has multiplicative inverse example in z plus dot elements 1 and minus 1 are units because 1 multiply by 1 equal to 1 minus 1 multiply minus 1 equal to 1 this 1 multiply 1 equal to 1 this one is unity this one is unit similarly minus 1 multiply minus 1 equal to 1 this one is unity and minus 1 is unit of z next example set of rational number q with binary operation addition and multiplication in this set each non zero member each unit because five belongs to q 5 is a non zero element non zero rational number then 1 by 5 is also a non zero rational number and 5 multiply 1 by 5 equal to 1 1 by 5 multiply 5 equal to 1 next example in z6 plus and dot 
एलिमेंट्स वन बार एंड फाइव बार आर यूनिट्स बिकॉज वन बार मल्टीप्लाई वन बार इक्वल टू वन बार वन बार इज द यूनिटी एंड हियर वन इज यूनिट फाइव बार मल्टीप्लाई फाइव बार इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी फाइव बार वन ट्वेंटी फाइव इज डिवाइडेड बाई सिक्स वी गेट रिमाइंडर वन दैट इज वन बार हियर वन बार मल्टीप्लाई वन बार इक्वल टू वन बार एंड फाइव बार मल्टीप्लाई फाइव बार इक्वल टू वन बार दिस इज यूनिटी ऑफ जेड सिक्स वन बार बट फाइव इज यूनिट since it has multiplicative inverse now we will try to know the new concept characteristic of a ring the characteristic of a ring is the least positive integer n such that if a be any element of the ring then A plus A plus 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 two n terms gives zero element. If we do not get any such number n, then we say that characteristic of that ring is zero. As z plus dot is a ring we do not get any least positive integer n such that any integer a plus a plus 2 n terms equal to 0 so characteristic of z equal to 0 we find the characteristic of a ring as the least positive integer n such that if we add the unity element i plus i plus i to n terms gives zero element then we say that characteristic of ring equal to n we may verify that if this equality holds then we may examine for any element of the ring let a be any element of ring a plus a plus 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 n terms equal to a multiply by unity plus a multiply by unity plus 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 a multiply by unity equal to a multiply unity plus unity plus 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 unity n terms n terms this is equal to a multiply by 0 equal to 0 characteristic of z6 equal to 6 as 1 bar plus 1 bar plus 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 1 bar plus 1 bar plus 1 bar plus 1 bar equal to 6 bar equal to 0 bar we add unity six times now we used some of the concepts already we have discussed and include the with ring we get a new structure first structure is integral domain here since number 1 r plus dot multiplication is a ring then we include property commutativity means here commutativity means multiplicative commutative law holds in r number 3 contains unity 
नंबर फोर रिंग आर कंटेंस नो डिविजर ऑफ जीरो देन आर विथ बाइनरी ऑपरेशन एडिशन एंड मल्टीप्लीकेशन विल बी एन इंटीग्रल डोमेन दैट मीन्स द रिंग विथ कमुटेटिविटी प्रॉपर्टी कंटेंस यूनिटी एंड इफ द रिंग कंटेंस नो डिविजन ऑफ जीरो देन दैट रिंग विल बी टर्म एज इंटीग्रल डोमेन एग्जाम्पल वन सिंस जेड सेट ऑफ इंटीजर्स विथ बाइनरी ऑपरेशन एडिशन एंड मल्टीप्लीकेशन इज ए रिंग एंड इट फुलफिल्स द कम्यूटेटिव प्रोपर्टी फॉर मल्टीप्लीकेशन ऑल्सो यूनिटी एलिमेंट वन बिलोंग्स टू जेड कंटेंस यूनिटी एंड एनी टू नाइन जीरो नंबर्स बाय मल्टीप्लीकेशन इज नॉट जीरो देर फॉर दिस रिंग फुलफिल्स ऑल द प्रोपर्टीज ऑफ इंटीग्रल डोमेन देर फॉर जेड विथ बाइनरी ऑपरेशन एडिशन मल्टीप्लीकेशन इज एन इंटीग्रल डोमेन सिमिलरली सेट ऑफ रैशनल नंबर विथ बाइनरी ऑपरेशन एडिशन एंड मल्टीप्लीकेशन is an integral domain set of real numbers with binary operation addition and multiplication these are all integral domain example 2 2z plus dot this is a ring it fulfills the commutative property but does not contain a unity also contains no divisor of zero since it does not contain a unity so it is not an integral domain example 3 z5 plus dot here this is a ring also fulfills the commutative property con contains unity one bar belongs to z5 and contains no divisor of zero therefore this is an integral domain example 4 z6 with binary operation addition and multiplication is a ring it fulfills the commutative property contains unity but this contains divisor of zero as we have already seen that two bar multiply three bar equal to zero bar since two bar not equal to zero three bar not equal to zero but their product is a zero bar and two bar three bar belong to z6 therefore this is not an integral domain the characteristic of an integral domain is either zero or a prime number we may examine this if possible let m be the characteristic of integral domain and m is a composite number let m equal to product of two numbers p and q since characteristic of an integral domain is m therefore i plus i plus 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 2 m terms equal to 0 implies that m i equal to 0 m is p multiplied by q i equal to 
implies that P i multiply Q i equal to 0. Since we are speaking about integral domain, an integral domain does not contain any division of 0. This is the product of two members of integral domain and right side is 0. An integral domain does not contain any division of 0. Therefore, I, either P i equal to 0 or Q i equal to 0. Here, P and Q all are less than M and M i is 0. M is the least positive integer. So, here this may not hold because P is less than M and M is least positive integer such that M i equal to 0. So, P i may not equal to 0 or Q i may not equal to 0. Since M is the least positive integer such that m i equal to 0. Therefore, p i not equal to 0, q i not equal to 0. That means our assumption is m is a composite number which is wrong. Therefore, m is either prime number or 0. So, characteristic of an integral domain is either 0 or a prime number. Now, we speak about a new structure, is Q field. With the non-trivial ring, we add some extra properties. That is, if a number 1 R plus dot is a non-trivial ring, number 2, with unity. Number 3, each non-zero element is unit. Then this R plus dot is a skew field. We may verify that each non-zero element is unit implies that is Q field contains no division of 0. We may examine that. Let A belongs to R means is Q field. Such that A not equal to 0. Therefore, A is a unit implies that there exist A inverse belongs to R such that A multiply A inverse equal to A inverse multiply A equal to unity. Let there exist B belongs to R such that A multiply B equal to 0 implies that we take A inverse multiplication both sides. A inverse multiplication 0. Since R is associative semi-group. So, A inverse A under bracket multiply B equal to right side 0 implies that this is unity multiply B equal to 0 implies that B equal to 0. Therefore, A is not division of 0. Therefore, A is not left division of 0. Similarly, we may verify that A is not right division of 0. If a C A equal to 0 implies that C A multiply a inverse equal to 0 multiply a inverse since associative so c multiply a multiply a inverse equal to 0 implies that c multiply 
unity element equal to 0 implies that c equal to 0. Therefore, a is not right divisor of 0. Hence, each non-zero element is unit implies that this skew field contains no division of 0. Since we have not here commutative property, otherwise it would be an integral domain. Now we will discuss about a new structure field. We include the property commutativity with skew field. Then it will be a new structure, that new structure is filled. Therefore, commutative skew field is a field. That means, in skew field, we see that number one, R plus dot is a ring. Number two contains unity. Number three each non zero element is a unit. This is the properties of is Q field. Now we add commutative property. Number 4 commutativity. Therefore, a ring which contains unity, each non zero element is a unit and fulfills the commutative property. Then the ring will be a field. Here we see that each non-zero element is a unit implies that the ring is without zero division. And then R plus is a ring contains unity commutativity and e is without zero division, then it will be an integral domain. So, each field is an integral domain, but each integral domain may not be filled. Only a finite integral domain is a field. Now, we take examples of a field. Q plus dot set of rational number with binary operation addition and multiplication is a field set of real numbers with addition and multiplication as binary operation is a field and set of complex number with addition and multiplication are fields. Next, Z5 with addition and multiplication is a field. In this way, our journey from group to field is complete. Thanks for watching my video. If you are satisfied with my presentation and contents, then please click on like button and do subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you.